All right. Okay. How does that one feel? Much, much better than the others. Nice. Good, good. He went like this. So welcome back. We are in the last part of our mini series where we're having clients approach women and we're taking a look at uh, the subtle communication they're using to approach women and then making adjustments to it. How they're potentially getting themselves rejected just by the way they're talking to women and seeing if we can make a little improvement so they get more accepted. Now, in this series, all we're having the clients do is walk up and say hi. And then we're critiquing it. We've got the beautiful Aria here. Hello. How are you feeling today? I'm Ready? feeling good, yeah. Nice. And we've got the beautiful Allie. Hello. And how are you feeling today? Ready to do this. Nice. Awesome. This time we're going to be working with Daniel. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to start with Ali today. And then, uh, then we'll have Aria come up in a little bit. And uh, so Aria, we're going to have to say goodbye. Daniel, come on over, buddy. So this is Daniel. And uh, are you ready? Absolutely. Nice. Nice. So I'm not going to have you, I'm not going to introduce him. I'm not going to start get any conversation going. Uh, you haven't worked with Ali yet, have you at all? I have not. Okay. So awesome. So this is Daniel's first approach to Allie. All he's going to do is walk up and say hi. You're just going to say hi and shake your hand and we're going to take a look at your subcommunication, how you feel. If a guy can't just say hi in a nice, relaxed, normal way, then really anything more complex is he's not ready for. Okay? So let's get started. Are you ready? Let's do this. You ready? Yes. Nice. Always. Let's do it. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> got, we got two highs in there. Okay, how'd that feel? I feel great. Okay, good. How'd that feel for you? Not that great. Uh -oh. I can feel that you, I, I, I could feel that you were nervous, and I could feel that also in your handshake that you did not know where to put it. Uh, did you like any of it? Was any of it good? Uh, yes, the tone of his voice was, was good. Was good. Good, good, good. Tone of the voice is huge and important. Um, how about his overall presence, his relaxation in his body? I mean, there was nervousness. Was there any groundedness under the nervousness, do you think? Yes. Okay, good. So you have a lot of masculinity, you have a lot of groundedness, which will work really well. So I don't think it was bad, but there was nervousness. Now, the question I have is there's something we call punching through, which is when you have a lot of fear, a lot of nervousness, can you punch through? through the nervousness and show up anyways and say, I am scared, but I'm right here. I want to talk to you. And the question I'd have for you is, did he do that? No, I, I didn't feel that he wanted to talk to me, that he came to me. He could do that to any other women in a bar or something. Uh, so a little player like. Yeah. OK, that's kind of what I saw, too. So the player vibe is I do this all day, you know, and I'm not going to try. I'm, you're not trying. It's nothing special. So what do you see special about here? And are you willing to show up in spite of your fear and punch through anyway and say, yeah, I'm scared, I'm nervous, because that's probably not going to go away right away. But I'm right here, I'm looking into you. Do you feel that difference? Oh, yeah, I feel I'm, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like right here with my heart, I'm right here, here, and I'm looking into you, and I'm speaking to you, okay? Which is the difference. I'm going to show you the difference right now. Walking up and falling short right here. Hey, how you doing? I like you. What's your name? Do you see what I mean? Mm. Okay, good. Do you feel how I, I fell a little short? Yeah. Now I'm going to walk up. Hey, how you doing? You feel that difference? Feel it's subtle. Different. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Hopefully it is. Okay, you ready? Good. Now look at her. What do you like about her? Find it. Yeah. That's now, all slender physique. Now, notice your gaze narrowed a little bit. Look into her. Let yourself get a little lost in her. Take the same thing with your heart. Ask your heart to open. Be a little more vulnerable with her. Okay, good. Now go ahead and when you're ready, walk up. Hi. Uh, stop right there. Hi. He's not there yet, is he? Is he there? Mm, no. Okay. I have to double check with the lady. They may disagree with me. I always double check. <laughs> okay, good. Stop right there. Feel your spine. All right. Feel your body. Make you number one. He's inviting her into his reality, and he's got a strong reality. That's first of all. Anybody that walks, anytime you walk up to a girl, you got to be having fun. You got to be enjoying her, but for your sake, not to try to win her over and impress her. I'm here to say hi because I like you, but you can't need her, okay? So right now, there's a sense that you're trying to get something from her. Look, right there. 
and narrow your gaze and see her. Ask your heart to open, see her. Read until you can see her. Narrow it just a hair more. Focus in just a hair more. Good. Now, focus in until you can feel her emotions. There's going to be tension between you two, right? Do you feel the tension? You found it? Mm. Now soften inside that tension like a conduit. Like if you've got a hose that's filled with water, the, con the hose is the conduit for the water, right? Mm. The wire is the conduit for electricity. Relax until you can feel inside that hose or that wire and you feel a little charge between you two. Do you feel it? Keep doing it a little more. Do the same thing with your heart. There's a sense of warmth right here. Do you feel it? Yeah. Good. Now say hi. Don't lose it when you say hi. Keep it. As a matter of fact, feel it with every syllable. Hi. Right. One more time. Slow hooks. Drop right here. Hi. What does he feel right now? I think much better. More raw, more vulnerable? Yes, much more vulnerable. Okay, let's see if we can take... I feel the tension. Okay, you can feel the tension. So you think much better, there's still something more you want. Come down here. Mm. Feel right here. Let your heart rest on your belly. This is where a lot of our self-esteem is, is in our gut, in the gut brain. You can look it up online. Gut is the second brain. Feel right here. Feel this connection to your heart. Look and narrow that gaze again. Do you feel her? Feel that charge? The conduit? Now, from here, say hi. Hi. One more time. Hi. Good. How's that feel? Yeah, uh, much better. And I felt that also his tone was lower. Um, yeah, than the last one, yeah, for sure. Okay, good. Now walk back, start again. It's a lot to remember, isn't it? It's a lot of 1%. <clears throat> 1%, because you're going to have to relax all this rib cage. You have to relax up here. Remember the penetration, remember the conduit with the energy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hi. Hi. Good. Was that better? Yes. I, just, I could still uh, feel him nervous, but also I could feel him more curious. Good. So you felt some curiosity come through. Good. You can still tune that up. Because there's still a part of you pulling back. I can feel it. It's getting better each time, though. Do you feel the difference? So, right? Yeah. So, you're making your, you're still making your fear a little bit more important than her and connecting to her, not her, but connecting to her. Does that make sense? So, can you walk through your fear? It was still much, 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 much better. So, look at her again one more time. Stand right here. Now, feel, the, feel your whole spine. Rest in your spine. Okay, and then feel this and relax here, but don't lose your spine. The spine is kind of like part of your grounding mechanism along with the backs of your legs. Mm -hmm. Feel the backs of your legs, now narrow that gaze and lower your head a hair, just a hair, not that much, half of that. And then see if you can find that place of enjoyment where there's that charge again. We're gonna do it one more time to see if we can increase it. We keep increasing at 1%, it's only gonna get better. Do the same thing with your heart. That's it, right there. Do you feel that difference? I do. Okay, did you feel it change? Yeah, I could uh, see also some twitches in his eyes. Nice. Good. Now say hi. Hi. Now, we're going to have to change the voice. Relax right down here. Feel my hand. Open your mouth. Hum for me. Uh, right there until you feel a charge right here. Come down here a little lower. Relax all through here. Uh, you feel, feel, it, feel the... That's it. Now come down here. All the way down. Open your mouth. Take another breath. Can you feel a tingle right in here? You're going to feel like a tingle or a, a connection. There you go. Now look at her. Look into that energy through the eyes and the heart and, and stop. Feel that energy. Now say hi from here. Hi. Now, now, just like you narrow your eyes and gaze, narrow the voice just a bit. Say hi. Feel right here. Hi. Hi. Getting better. Not quite what I want yet, but is it better? Yeah. Okay, good. Give me one more approach, and then we're going to call it. Okay. I get, I get super meticulous, guys. I want more and more and more. I know another 1%, another 1%, another 1%. It'll go on forever. Hi. Hi. 
good. How does that one feel? Much, much better than the others. Nice. Good, good. He went like this. Not still there, no. Not still there? What do you mean? Not there yet. Not there yet, no. Very close. But much better. And we only have like five, ten minutes on this video. And so we have to, you know, do as much as we can on the video. If, if I have an hour with him, it's going to change everything. And that's what this work does, is we make little changes over time. Um, 1% here, 1% there. We call it the 1% rule. And within time, you end up with a whole new way of being and flowing. We're not looking for big changes. If big changes happen, that's great. And sometimes they do, but they happen on their own. Okay? So um, thank you for being here. Thank you, Tom. So now we're going to work with uh, the beautiful Aria. Hello. Are you ready, Daniel? I'm ready. Awesome. So this is round two. He just gets another chance to, to kick some ass and, and, uh, or to see some beauty. That's a better way to put it. So, boy, that sounds cheesy, doesn't it? Um, anyways, go ahead and stand right over here. Okay, good. And uh, let's get on our marks. Now, you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to walk up and say hi, and then we're going to look at your subcommunication. Hi. Good. It's good, but it's like he pops up a bit with his head. He's a bit like a little bit of thinking. Yeah, right. yeah, a bit. So, so let's go ahead and step back over this way for the shot. Now, the thing that uh, that I like about Daniel is he's very grounded, very masculine. This will work. Who you're being right now will work. Women will like it. Can it get better? Yes. Actually, it's probably even it's harder here than it will be out there for the most part. Women are going to be less forgiving, more crit more critiques, all that kind of stuff. Now, with that said, let's take a look at what you said because we can actually get better. And you do pop in your head. You do worry. You do get scared. Um, and the more you punch through that and show up anyways, like you don't have to get rid of the fear, the more they're going to find you interesting and attractive. So let's stand in front of Aria. Walk up. And now narrow your gaze again. You're, the one thing I see with you is you've got this really powerful masculine presence, but you don't use the penetrating energy as much as you could. I don't want you to overdo it, but you're not, you're not overdoing it. So right now, you're thinking more than enjoying. Do you understand what I mean? No, thank you. What do you enjoy? Uh, the beauty in front of me. That's pretty uh, damn big, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, and so... You have to get really much more honest than that. Yeah, yeah. So that the laugh is adorable. Okay, more honest, right? Mm -hmm. So the first one, a girl would have called bullshit on because she couldn't feel it. It's not that it wasn't true. It's that if she can't feel it, she doesn't trust it. The second yeah. one had some trust, some real authenticity in it. Okay. So now narrow your gaze again and make the connection to her more important than your fear. Make feeling her through your body more important than your own fear. That's it. That's it. It's getting stronger. Hopefully you can see this on camera. It's now getting stronger. And now see if you can narrow a little bit more and feel right down here. Feel down the, you got to feel down the front of your body where your emotions are stored. There you go. Now say something for me. How are you? It's very real. Like, I like it. Okay, good. Now, say something. This is going to be a little thing we do sometimes, and I want you to, to pay attention to it. Say something innocuous, like something stupid, like a, a song lyric, a nursery rhyme. And I want to see if you can connect to her just saying any old set of words. Oh, McDonald had a farm. If you don't sing it, just say it. <laughs> Look into her and say it. Actually, you liked it, though. Huh? <laughs> She likes goofy silly. stuff. Yeah. Uh, too goofy. Right. Now, say it again, but just say the words, don't sing it. Old McDonald had a farm. Now say hi. Hi. How's that feel? Um, good. It felt like he almost said something very like deep and serious, like yep. Old McDonald had a farm. <laughs> like, I was like, what? <laughs> so what we're looking at is the voice tone and the inflection on what he said and what he's conveying under the words. And so it was all deep and serious, right? Mm. Rather than looking at her and enjoying her and letting her see that come through on your words. Yeah, it feels like so the difference. A bit serious, like, <laughs> yeah. like upset. So now look at me. And if I look at her 
and I enjoy her. Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, Old, yeah. Yeah. Gonna do it again. yeah, 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 I'm gonna do it again. Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it, that. Does that feel different? Yeah, of course it does. Okay, good. Yeah. Do you feel the difference? It has more uh, warmth I to it. I feel the difference. Okay, cool. Now I have a little connection with Aria, so I'm cheating a little bit, but <laughs> it works. If you can drop in, it doesn't matter. Okay. It seems like you want to be serious again. <laughs> like, serious mode, I have to say this. Uh, so what makes you smile? Uh, <laughs> she's cute, this is adorable. <laughs> there you go. She keeps laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, likes, she likes old McDonald's, I guess. <laughs> there you go, much better. That was actually much better, would you agree? Yeah. Good, now, say any sentence you want to say to her. Nothing deep, just something you would enjoy. I feel some panic in his mind. He's like, what, <laughs> what do I see? <laughs> Remember the penetration, right here, the penetrating energy, yeah. the heart, and then say something to her. You should ask you a some time. <laughs> good, now. Did you feel that? Real? <laughs> okay, good, now say it again. Slow way down. Look her in the eyes. Say it one more time. And say it slower. You and I should go out sometime. That was kind of different. How'd mm. that feel? Good, like more real. More solid. Uh, yeah, more solid. Yeah, that's the word. I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Good. Now walk back, walk up, say hi again. Hi. Nope, do it again. Yeah, exactly. I was just, are you upset or something? <laughs> no, I'm not upset. Scream for me. Give a little this. Ah! Good. Now relax to the front of your body. Walk up, say hi. Hi. Kind of good. No, but I won't shake the hand okay. with you. No. <laughs> do that again. Okay, one more time. You got to get out of here. You got to stop all that thinking. That's why I had you scream. Do it again. Ah! That's it. You stay connected with her that time. Do it one more time. Stay connected with her. Ah! Okay, good. Now, lower your head a bit and walk up. Hi. No. Hi. <laughs> no, yeah, it's something like the second he's in front of me, he's like, he loses that connection. He was really wanting validation right now. You're really wanting her validation and that's fucking you up. Yeah. Damn. You don't need her validation. Can you be happy without her? I can. Why? Because I will be. I just no. will. <laughs> You're not going to live the rest of your life with her, are you? No. You're not going to take her home with you, are you? Um, she won't go out with me. <laughs> is, that, is that why you're depressed? Because you didn't get a yes? <laughs> no, not at all. Good. So, can you let it go? Whatever's bothering you. Yeah. Now from right there, look at her. Lower your jaw into her. Say hi from here. Hi. Mm -hmm. Better? Yeah, better, definitely. Say fuck you. Fuck you. There it is. See, that's the most real thing you've said. Yup. Say, <laughs> say I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. Good. Now, say, yeah, and she represents every woman in the world. Say I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Now ask your heart to open and feel all that. Say, I'm lonely. I'm lonely. And I blame you. And I blame you. Yeah. Can you let that go? Just don't, don't answer. Just feel it. Only if your body releases do you answer. Can you let more of it go? Say yes. Yes. Say no. No. Say fuck no. Fuck no. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Way more real. Now sh narrow your gaze, lower your head. 
Say fuck you. Fuck you. Now say hi. Hi. Much better. Now walk up, say hi. 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 Say I like you. I like you. I want to know you. I want to know you. Shake your hand. How feel? We feel like presidents, like, okay. <laughs> it felt better and lighter. Yeah. In a way, it didn't have, felt heavy or, yeah, it was lighter. Yeah, God. How'd that feel for you? Uh, a lot better. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a good approach. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So that one got a little more intense. And typically when I do these, I was just playing originally. The intention was just to do the highs. Now, you know, with our channel, we tend to go deeper. And you start to see a lot of deeper work in in what we're doing here. Now, what you're going to notice in what we just did there is I had him play with uh, different sentences and I had him play with some uh, some ag aggressive statements. And the reason I had him play with the aggressive statements is because he had some stuff stuck inside him that was causing him to hold all this fear. And we had to get in touch with what was stuck inside him, get it out. And uh, Arya knows that it doesn't mean anything. She's been trained to understand that these guys are just getting this stuff out. They don't even mean it. But if they don't express it, they get stuck and they can never get it out. So it gives them a freedom and a space to express themselves, let it out. After that stuff comes out, it's amazing how there's a transformation in their voice tone, the way they feel, their body language. And so that's literally what we were doing there. It's not personal, it's not meant as an attack. It's meant as a sense of letting go and freedom for him. How did that feel after we did it for you? <sighs> Natural. Yeah. Did you feel better? Did you feel lighter? A lighter, extremely lighter. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Say I like you. I like you. I want to know you. I want to know you. Shake your hand. Okay. And how was that for you? Uh, definitely he seemed more real to yeah. me. Like more present, more in touch and in tune with what he was truly feeling. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And that's exactly why we do it. She can now see what he's really after, the deeper human. He doesn't really want to be mad at women. It's just stored in his body. So he gets that out and now he can be a better man. We can create better men, happier women. And that's literally what's going on here. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to say? Uh, I felt great. Okay. I love this masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, hello, YouTube land. <laughs> Fearless. Awesome. Love it. Okay. So yeah, we don't work like everybody else. It's not quick. It's not a. It's not a quick fix. It's something where we actually dig in and work with your subconscious. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of some of the stuff we do in our workshops. The Fearless Man Live, the uh, experience workshop where we actually take you through a lot of experiential work with the models. And uh, that's why we get such big transformations and changes. We're not a company that's just going to give you a bunch of techniques. We're actually going to work with what's going on inside you, all the repressed energy, emotions, stored crap that you're holding in your body and help you get it out. And these women are, are here to help you do the same thing. They love seeing the transformations. Yeah. Definitely. And that's why you keep coming back, huh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So um, with that said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank Allie, who's sitting over here off camera. Uh, thank you, Allie. And uh, I want to thank Aria. She did an awesome job today. Thank you. I want to thank Daniel. He's a true sport. I mean, it takes balls to do that on camera. So, you know, he's growing some balls right now. And uh, I want to thank you guys. You guys were awesome. Um, now, with that said, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to like the video if uh, you haven't liked the video, if, if it's a video you like, and make sure to comment. Uh, your comments are important to us. Want to hear what you thought, what you saw, what you're confused by, what you want to see more of. If you like this stuff, we can potentially do more of it. I'm really testing this out. This, this is really uh, something that I was a little nervous about showing you guys because honestly, I didn't know if you would be able to get it or see it or understand it because it is a much deeper process. Um, something that uh, when we put on camera, that we need to explore and see how it goes. So if you really want to see more of this, make sure that you comment in the video and tell us that. Now, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.